Hello there, time now for a look at the days of business news. My name is Laban Clay von Serio. The government has less than 24 hours to pass the Division of Revenue Bill for 2017, failure to which services in counties may grind to a halt that's beginning next month. The Commission on Revenue Allocation is warning that if not passed on Thursday, which is tomorrow, both levels of government will be left without budgets, which will result in unnecessary disruptions in service delivery. My colleague Alex Mwangi reports. The Commission is concerned that Parliament has only one day left to conduct business, and if the stalemate remains unresolved, the country is staring at a budget crisis. That is the predicament that the country is staring into following a stalemate between the National Assembly and the Senate over the Division of Revenue Bill 2017. The consequences of failing to pass the bill on time could impact economic growth should county services cease. The scenario then is that either there is a special sitting or then the country would have to wait until the next parliament is reconstituted to pass the, next, the, to pass the division of revenue and the county allocation of revenue. The last minute push and pull by both houses of parliament represents the fractious relationship that exists between the Senate and the National Assembly. But looking deeper, the familiar tussle should not have gone this far. We have Intergovernmental Budget and Economic Council, IBEC, which is chaired by the Deputy President. We have representation from Treasury, from CRA, from the National Assembly Budget Committee. All these people sit there. Once they agree on the amounts that should go to the counties, how come Treasury changes those amounts? Or anybody, whether it is Senate or National Assembly, would even uh, contemplate changing those amounts? So this is, to me, flexing muscles for nothing. The Commission on Revenue Allocation proposes that counties be allocated an amount between 299 billion shillings and 314 billion shillings, which are the amounts that the National Treasury and the Senate proposed respectively. I sought to find out from the Chair why the CRA is proposing a range rather than a specific figure. We believe a position between these two will at least give the counties a bit of fiscal space to be able to, to provide particularly for the, the negotiated wage agreements and also for the, CR, the, what, the recommendations that will emanate from the SRC process. The contentious bill has now been sent to a mediation committee for the second time in a bid to solve the stalemate between the two houses. The committee is comprised of eight members, four from each house. The Commission on Revenue Allocation has also voiced its support for the Council of Governors on the allegation that the National Assembly passed the National Government Appropriation Bill 2017 prematurely, given that it did so in the absence of a Division of Revenue Act. I think the idea is the Division of Revenue Bill that should precede the Appropriation Bill. The Council of Governors is taking the National Assembly to court over the matter, but the chair of the CRA stopped short of having the Commission and joined in the suit. Alex Mwangi and TV.